Hey guys, this is X666X Iron Maiden. Today we're going to be reacting to Mike Keneally, if I'm saying it right, with the Aristocrats doing Frank Zappa's Zombie Wolf. Alright guys, so this is going to be uh, another reaction request from an artist called Mike Keneally uh, and he's going to be performing live with the Aristocrats here doing a version of uh, Zombie Wolf from Frank Zappa. Um, I didn't know who Mike Keneally, Keneally was before checking him out so I just went and did a quick look up on him. This guy is a session musician. Uh, mostly on, uh, I guess he does guitar and he does keyboards. I guess he's also a vocalist composer. Um, but he's performed with Frank Zappa. Uh, he's also performed with his son Dweezil Zappa, with uh, Zappa Plays Zappa. Uh, he's also worked with, I guess, James Labrie on his solo work, Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, um, Oliver, if you guys know who they are. Uh, it's another metal band that uh, I know just a little bit about. And also Death Clock, uh, which kind of, <laughs> that one kind of surprised me. Uh, I didn't know that he was uh, that he had toured with Death Clock, and I guess he was back up vocalist with them. So anyway, that was that was cool to find out. Um, so without further ado, uh, we're gonna check it out because uh, it sounds like this is definitely a power group of power band to have together to be playing Zombie Wolf, especially when you have Guthrie Govan, Marco Minimum, and Brian Beller all um, together on the same fucking track doing zombie wolf so here we go
keyboard and the guitar is very dumb. That was definitely that's what you get when you have four top tier music musicians doing a cover of Frank Zappa. You you get a great fucking track. I mean, I mean, I think I think it would have made Frank Frank proud to see that. Uh, I mean, Zombie Wolf is a great is a great track to begin with, and they just they just completely pulled it off. I guess this was at the Roxy for uh, the West Fest Seven benefit, and uh, this was in March two thousand twelve. Uh, I mean, I can see why Frank Zappa had this guy with him. It was he's a phenomenal guitarist. I mean, obviously a great keyboardist too. From just a little bit, we got to hear. I, I always wonder. It makes me uh, just talking about Frank Zappa. I always wondered what he would be, what his music would be now if he was still here making music. Because um, with the instruments we have nowadays, the technology and stuff, I'm just curious where he would have went with his music once it got to this point in time. But we'll never know, unfortunately. I mean, people get taken away and we just have to, we can just think about it and we'll never know. But at least we still have a, a shit ton of Frank Zappa's music to listen to. And, uh, you know, we got that. that. That's the good thing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, make sure you hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any videos from me. And as always, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you guys later.